Princess Rainy Cloud here and welcome back for another video. If you're new, welcome to you as well. Uh, my channel is all about kind of strange and unusual things, uh, especially that center around uh, experiences that I've had in my life that I'm pretty certain uh, happened to other people as well. So I wanted to share those with you and I'm very interested in your feedback and any kind of comments that you have if if something that has happened to me that rings true to you I would love to know about it so definitely leave me a comment um, below today's video is a follow-up to a video I did previously about a weird paranormal snapchat slash glitch question and um, I'm just gonna give you a very quick recap of what that video is is about if you haven't watched it. I mean, obviously you can go back and watch it, but if you haven't, just wanna know what's going on from this video. I was using the an application called Snow, which used to be a, a, used to be a social media. It's basically an Asian version of Snapchat. That's how it started. Now it's just basically a camera filter, video filter, you know, beauty filter. It's got all the characters. I discovered that there was a toilet paper roll character on there. I was, I thought it'd be fun to make a silly kind of video with it. So I was just kind of playing around with it when an additional character comes in from the side and it's rolling around and, and you could see its eyes and, it, and like I described it as, it looked like a creepy, one of those Halloween ghost caricature faces, you know, like almost like a pumpkin, but white. It was, it was weird. And it rolls around like this and then it goes, and just shoots away. And you can even see the look in my eyes. I was just, what the, what the hell was that? Okay. So I'm going to play it right now. I want you to see it so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just talking and it's, and it happened so fast, but I was just left stunned because I, I never, I've had, I've had this app for quite a while. I've been using Snapchats for years, never ever had anything like that happen to me. So it was a little startling and all I could think of is what in the world could cause that. I tried and tried and tried to re, you know, replicate it. Couldn't get it to happen. I was completely alone. My dog was asleep. I mean, it was just, it was just me and just kind of basically entertaining myself. And like I've mentioned before, I'm very easily entertained. But I thought it would be funny. And when I saw it was a toilet paper roll, it was just it was. I don't know. Anyways, so. I just kind of, you know, made a little video about it, put it out there, curious if that had happened to anyone else. I really, like I said, I tried so hard to recreate it to see if I could get it to do that. And there, it just wasn't possible because there was no way to recreate it, right? Because it wasn't like it was in the background. It came in, interacted, and left. So I don't know. It was very, very strange. Well, probably about two weeks ago it happened again and in a big way it just really was unexplainable and it wasn't just a glitch it wasn't just a freak something or other it was just weird so how it all started i was making a picture i was going to post on uh, instagram and also thinking about making like a little funny video to send to my friend. And I was kind of going through uh, Snap, I, this time I was using Snapchat. But I was playing with the, it's called Red Bunny. And it's like these little red, you know, bunny ears and the little nose. <laughs> and it was just really, really cute. And before I started recording, um, I, you know, I was kind of just checking it out. Cause you know how you look at it before you start recording. And um, I happened to move it just a bit and I saw one like an additional bunny ears pop up behind me in my dining room area. And because I wasn't recording it, I couldn't go back and look at it. So what I did is I was doing, you know, the little, you know, cutesy face doing the bunny. And then I kind of swept it behind me to see what happened. And I'm going to play it for you. I just want to apologize ahead of time. My dining room table was full of stuff. I was going through and sorting things and 
you know, just happened to be midstream of a mess. So uh, please excuse the mess in my dining room, but it was really interesting. And this time I did catch it on, on video. So I'm gonna play that for you now. So let's watch that. So here you can see that um, I'm just, you know, posing, being a poser. <laughs> and then when I sweep it behind me, one comes up and then another one comes up. And at first I thought, oh, you know, because I have artwork and I've got like that metal, ca you know, um, shelving unit back there that I have some art on. And I thought, I bet it is maybe picking up something in the background that has this symmetrical, you know, facial, you know, layout that, that triggered its facial recognition. And till I looked at it a little closer and I realized no, and it's in two different places. It looks like it had moved from one place to the other. So then I decided to play with it a little bit more because it was really bothering me and I just didn't know what to think of it because it didn't make any sense. So I tried a different filter and this time I used the brown bunny. And I would head over in that area um, but then I took it and I swept it kind of across the kind of like my kitchens, you know, obviously next to my dining area. And there's like a little window that you can look through my kitchen out to my living room. And then I kind of, I, I swept it past that and towards the living room wall where the TV is and kind of up and above the doorway that goes into my, uh, studio slash office. And... I caught a face by the little window that goes to the kitchen more than once. At first I thought maybe it was you know picking up that window and then maybe the piece of art that's hanging next to it as a face, but that just didn't even make sense because I've tried it over and over and over again with the same filter in the same light and I cannot recreate it. But what was really disturbing because you could see the eyes you could see the bunny ears but that particular filter has kind of like an overlay for the eyes that comes with it so it almost gives it like a cartoonish character looking that doesn't look like there's a face to it but as i panned up past that window up and over the doorway it picked up something very quickly and i thought oh there's another one but there was nothing, absolutely nothing there that would have even remotely triggered the symmetry of a face. But it happened very, very quickly. Uh, so I, just looking at it in real time, I couldn't tell. So of course I saved the videos, uh, everything. I, and I, I've had more than that as well, which I will share some of those at another time. I, I need to go through them. Uh, because I've been just kind of experimenting with the different filters to see if it is indeed something that's going on with the app or if there's a possibility of something unseen triggering this. So I saved the video and I went back and looked at it. I caught it a couple times, the one that's by the kitchen window. And then you'll see that one that's above, kind of like up above the doorway that goes to my office. And it happened so fast. In fact, I kind of swept it and then I was going back and it was just like, oh, it was there. So uh, what I did is, like I said, I saved it and then I went through still by still by still to look at it. I did slow it a little bit for you so you can see it in slow motion. I tried to like cut it down so that, because once you go to slow, it really goes kind of slow. And you can just kind of see it pan across and then it, you know, I come back and then you pick up that, that first one again. So I, as I said, instead of just slow mowing it, what I did is I saved it and I went through frame by frame by frame. Now the one, the first bunny, you know, that the first trigger by the, the kit, the darkened kind of kitchen window that, that looks in kind of, that's where you can look through my kitchen out to my living room. Um, and then there's the, the piece of art that's right next to it. That one, because of the, it was so dark, it was hard to see if there were any, like if the eyes had changed at all on that one. But the one above my 
doorway to my office is was startling and I want to show you the stills to this real quick so you can see what I saw so here this is the first one and then this is the second one and then this is the third one because it was kind of like in a sequence as I panned uh, so whatever it is was there and it didn't change like I would imagine that if it was something that was triggering it that was just like a pattern in the background if you move it away from that pattern it's going to go away immediately because I have found things that do trigger it if it is a pattern that kind of looks like a face but that was not the case it, it kind of changed but it was still in the same place it's just changed as I panned so I want to show you the, the two that really were startling so this is the first one that I looked at and it's definitely a eyes and they almost look like they're smiling and it is not the typical eyes that come with the filter because the filter just has almost like cartoonish eyes these are real eyes now look at the second one and when I saw the second one I like I just I was floored and I wasn't terrified I mean I would imagine I thought that I would have been terrified to see something like this but I immediately recognized it as someone I knew that I had lost in death many 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 years ago in fact when I was 15 he was someone I loved dearly who was about three years older than me and I'm pretty certain it is my it was a best friend's brother who I was in love with. He was her older brother. And, um, you know, we, I was very attached to him and he died. And I was devastated. And I just, you know, it, it left an indelible mark on me for a very, very long time. And even sometimes when I, I, you know, he just pops up into my mind from time to time because he's one of those people that you just never forget. But I always felt like I carried him with me. And there were times that I've had dreams about him when I was going through, you know, sad times in my life. And weirdly, earlier that day, I had been researching for a different video that was very emotionally charged and that kind of triggered sad vibes in me that I kind of had to put it on the back burner because I started crying and you know and I will eventually get to that and it's actually a really interesting um, video but I was in a really emotional state and I find it very odd that that's when this particular set of eyes triggered the snapchat video so I really don't know what it was. I don't know if it was my emotions that drew that, that triggered it. I don't know. Because when I looked back I to when I did the, the toilet paper roll one, when I had that little extra toilet paper roll come flying in, I realized that particular day I was having kind of a, a like an emotional state as well, but it was a different kind of emotion. I, w I had found something out. Um, about someone that um, basically it was it was a betrayal and I was very angry that day by the time I made the the toilet paper video I wasn't as upset because I was kind of using that I think as a way to change the mood and lighten the mood and make me happy because we were still kind of that was before I went back to school you know I'd still been kind of sequestered from all this you know garbage that's going on in the world and uh, you know, you start getting stir crazy, so it brings up a lot of emotions. You start revisiting things in your life, and that particular day, I was really angry because I had learned some information about something that I viewed as a betrayal, and I was very upset. And I started kind of putting them together and wondering if, you know, it did play a role, like the the emotions, like is it something that is kind of guarding over you that comes to you when you're in those types of vulnerable positions where you're sad and it's almost like a comforting type of situation um i don't know i really don't know because i've many times over the years when i have been uh in a really 
period of turmoil where I was really sad or I felt like I was in despair and just go, you know, I mean, we all go through that. I'm not talking about like anything that was like long lasting, but just those moments in time where you are especially emotionally vulnerable when something happens that has really hurt you. I have had him show up in dreams. I've had, I, you just sense that presence and whether or not you believe that that is a possibility, regardless of what your views are of the state of being after we pass on from this world, you know, it, it, you can believe whatever you want, but when things happen, it's hard to ignore. So I just wanted to share that with y'all and let you know that I think there's more to this than we realize. And I'm very curious to know if anyone has had any of these experiences. I've had more since then, but I don't want to go on too long with this video. I want to go back and kind of uh, look at it and um, just review the footage because, again, I've tried it with different uh, filters and I am picking up faces where there should not be. Snapchat and all these filters, I think it's just becoming so sensitive now that it picks up on maybe things that are there that are unseen whether they're you know I don't know good bad somewhere in between whether it's humans whether it's a spirit realm whether I don't know what it is yeah you know, I mean I'm not when I say humans I don't mean like a, a living human but you know is it, is it a leftover energy that's left behind I don't know what it is but it's undeniable and when I saw those eyes I immediately knew and it just I got goosebumps just thinking about that because it was very real and it's undeniable so I wanted to share that with y'all thank you for sitting with me while I ramble on and I am trying so hard to get better at that because I don't want to bore you uh, I want to get to the point so that you can enjoy the the subjects that I want to present to you because they are really interesting and I've had so many crazy things happen to me in my life and sometimes we feel like we're the only ones that go through it but I think it happens a lot more often than we realize so I want to thank y'all for watching please subscribe if you haven't yet give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it if you want to know more about this I mean I will make some more I will post some more of the findings that I have discovered using snapchat but you know if people aren't enjoying it they're not watching it I'm not gonna so you know the more likes I get it will tell me that you are interested that you want to know about this also leave me some comments if this has happened to you and or if you have a theory on it or hypothesis or whatever you want to call it what do you think it is I'm very curious so Thank y'all for watching. Love all y'all. I'm so thankful for each and every one of my subscribers. Y'all are so important to me. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. You take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye.